God is saying to you today, don't be surprised that right after God gives you a word, a promise, a dream, a vision, warfare happens. The enemy will try to convince you that it won't happen. He will come against your mind, your finances, your health, etc. so that you can let go of the promise. But hold on. His word hasn't changed nor will it return void. Stay the course and don't give up. Like this video if you have a belief in God. God knows how to connect you to the right people. He knows how to get you to your destiny. You have no idea what God has in store for you. There are surprises that have your name on them that, if you saw them right now, it would boggle your mind. The things you've been praying about are going to suddenly fall into place. The right people will show up and the right opportunities will appear. Out of nowhere, unexpectedly, you didn't see it coming, but God is going to amaze you with His goodness. Type 1111 if you agree. God is saying to you today, you are a survivor and most people don't know what you've gone through. Very few know but I continue to pick you up every time you fall. I have never failed you and I will not fail you now. You don't even look like what you've been through. And the good news is I'm not through with you yet. I'm about to bless you so much it will blow the minds of those who wrote you off. Type yes. To claim it. You have been through so much in your life. If people only knew the half of it. You have been there for others through thick and thin. You loved them through the worst of times. You only asked for honesty and loyalty in return. You have been hurt so many times because of your loving and caring heart. You even opened your doors and took on responsibilities that belong to others. Yet, you continue to praise and worship me. I know your pain. I will never leave you nor forsake you. You're not going through. You're coming out. In the month of September, your entire household is going to be touched by my hand. Blessings are coming your way. Tide payment if you agree. May God turn you into a mighty prayer warrior. May you discern the enemy's schemes, pray God's promises, and shut down the devil at every turn. May you hear God's voice and know how to pray specifically for those in need before they ever ask for prayer. May you have eyes to see the new territory God wants to give you and the faith to walk forward and lay hold of it. And tonight, rest in the knowledge that God is strong and He is still on His throne. Type yes to affirm. Just a reminder in case your mind is messing with you tonight. God heard your prayer. You are going to be okay. God is making a way for you. Angels have been sent to comfort you. God has a great plan for your life. You can do all things through Christ. Blessings are coming your way. You matter. You're important. You're loved. What you're about to discover today is life-changing. One minute you're struggling to pay bills swamped with money worries and the next minute you're attracting money like steel to a magnet what makes this life-changing difference in people's lives it's called the genetic wealth code once you activate it your life will never be the same again you can activate your genetic wealth code here today it's best to activate this code now while this page is still live.
tap the link in my comments to activate your genetic wealth code. May God give you a sense about the good things he's planning for you, things you cannot see but so desire. May he give you faith to lay down your burdens so you can carry his blessings. May you refuse angst and embrace awe because you serve a loving and all-powerful God, and this same God treasures you. Have a great day. Type yes to claim it. Today I declare a blessing of peace, hope and restoration over you. I declare that hearts are being mended, relationships restored, and families reunited. I declare that every stronghold and bondage is broken off of you and your family in Jesus' name. God is on your side. As a believer in Jesus and a child of His, God is on your side. If you haven't thought about it yet today, remember, you are created for greatness. There is no obstacle that can stop you. There is no disadvantage that can hold you back. You're in the palms of God's hands, and He has equipped and empowered you. Quit telling yourself, I'll always struggle in this area. I'll never lose this weight. I'll never get out of debt. Change your perspective. You are not weak, defeated, or inferior. You are full of can-do power. The same spirit that raised Christ from the dead lives on the inside of you. Type 555. If you believe, God is on your side. Let that sink down into your heart today. Begin to expect his favor. Expect him to work in your life. Focus on the fact that God has equipped you. He has anointed you. Your best days are still out in front of you. If God is for you, no one can rise against you. As you meditate on this promise, it will become real to you. You will walk in the favor and victory of God. Dear God, Thank you for your love and protection as I have walked through trials this week. Please forgive me, Lord, if I have done anything that is not pleasing to you. Looking at the week ahead, I pray that you clear my heart and mind of any worry, hurt, or anxiety. Replace those feelings with a longing only for you, God. I desire to know you more. I desire to serve you and make you more known. I give you all the honor and praise. In Jesus' name, Amen. Type yes if you needed this. God is saying to you today, I know you are going through a difficult time right now and you are dealing W multiple circumstances and a lot of emotional pain. It seems as though before you can get through one thing, another thing happens. I don't always still the storm around you. Sometimes I still the storm raging in you. Do not give up. I am strengthening you in areas that you cannot even see right now. You and I will get through this together, like we always do. Everything will be alright. This is the year God is going to shift things in your favor. He is getting things all lined up. What you couldn't make happen on your own, God is going to cause you to accomplish. It's going to be bigger than you thought. It's going to happen quicker than you imagined. And it's going to be more rewarding than you ever dreamed of. Your part is to stay in faith. Keep declaring that God is at work. Keep believing that He is turning things around for your good. Remember, this is the year of God's favor, and you are just one shift away from every blessing He has in store for you. 
type. I welcome the new to affirm. I declare God is taking you to a new level in life. Your sadness will be replaced with happiness. Your struggles will be turned into blessings. Your loss will be replaced with a miracle bigger than you can imagine. And you will fully receive the peace that God has for you. God is saying to you today, I know you have been questioning yourself lately and wondering if you are really strong enough or good enough to do what I placed in your heart to do. This message is here to remind you that you can do all things through Christ. Don't you dare give up or let fear talk you out of your dream. Remember, I am with you and you will succeed. You can do this. Check bio link to secret of attract money. Link in comment section. God is saying to you today. Don't you dare give up. The devil couldn't take you out last year and he's not going to take you out this year. You already have the victory. You are an overcomer. You are more than a conqueror. I am preparing you for greater, greater opportunities, greater health, greater peace of mind, greater blessings, greater finances. Type yes to claim it. May you rise up today with the full assurance that God has your back. He is with you for you and actively working on your behalf. He does for you what you cannot do for yourself. May you do for him the one thing you can do. Trust him with your whole heart and embrace joy along the way. Grace and peace to you this day. Prayer for the broken hearted dear Lord. Please rain down your grace and comfort on all who are grieving. You are the God of all comfort and the Prince of Peace. You promise to be near to the brokenhearted and to save those who are crushed in spirit. You promise to comfort those who mourn. You are never closer than when our hearts are breaking. May each person who is hurting feel your nearness and the comfort, peace, and hope that only you can give. Please bless each person reading this. In Jesus' name, we ask these things. Amen. Type yes if you believe. Evening blessing. As you step back and survey the parts of your life that break your heart or that don't make sense right now, may you dare to stand strong, look up, and consider afresh what God's resurrection power can do in through and around you. Only those who've walked through the valley of the shadow will truly grasp the power of redemption on the other side. Jesus withholds a no good thing from those who walk intimately with him. He's not the reason you suffer. He's with you in the storm. He is your shelter, deliverer, and strong tower. He's your Redeemer, Savior, and Friend. He's your Prince of Peace and sure Defender. Find your footing again. Engage your faith. Embrace a right perspective. Trust Jesus with your whole heart and see what love will do. God said no. I asked God to take away my habit. God said no. It is not for me to take away, but for you to give it up. I asked God to make my handicapped child whole. God said no. His spirit is whole. His body is only temporary. I asked God to grant me patience. God said no. Patience is a byproduct of tribulations. It isn't granted, it is learned. I asked God to give me happiness. God said no. 
I give you blessings. Happiness is up to you. I asked God to spare me pain. God said no. Suffering draws you apart from worldly cares and brings you closer to me. I asked God to make my spirit grow. God said no. You must grow on your own, but I will prune you to make you fruitful. I asked God for all things that I might enjoy life. God said no. I will give you life, so that you may enjoy all things. I asked God to help me love others as much as he loves me. God said, Oh, finally you have the idea. This day is yours, don't throw it away. Share this if it blessed you. Type 1010 to affirm. Activate the flow of unlimited wealth, happiness, pleasure, freedom, and confidence into your life by making one tiny change to your morning routine. Would you want it? Check link in comments below to know the wealth secrets to attract an abundance of wealth. Subscribe our channel if you believe in God. Some people have not recognized your calling or your anointing, because in truth they barely know the Jesus you serve. Their spirits are rooted in carnal things so they cannot perceive spiritual things. But in the season to come, no one will be able to deny you are the Lord's beloved, because his favor and destiny by design will saturate your world. For God had preserved you for such a time as this. Gone are the days of struggle and lack, uncertainty and being under the thumb of the wicked. You will increase in authority and in Holy Ghost power, and these two will pave the way for your purpose in this season, even as the wealth of the wicked which shall come to you. Praise be to Jesus. As the church continues to be refined, you shall be defined as chosen and anointed, blessed and authentic. Angels are with you. This thing is real. Hallelujah to Jesus. Praises to his holy name forevermore. May God surround you with a strong sense of his great love for you. May you live every day with the expectancy that he is moving in your life. May the word of God come alive to you in a way you've never experienced. And may your prayers take on a whole new level of power and faith. You are his child and he is with you every step of the way. Be blessed today with a heightened awareness of his presence a strong sense of his love, and deep and profound understanding of your worth. Today is a gift from his hand to yours. Redeem the day by remembering his love. Type yes if you believe. Evening blessing. As you step back and survey the parts of your life that are in your heart, or that don't make sense right now, May you dare to stand strong, look up, and consider afresh what God's resurrection power can do in, through, and around you. Only those who've walked through the valley of the shadow will truly grasp the power of redemption on the other side. Jesus withholds a no good thing from those who walk intimately with him. He's not the reason you suffer. He's with you in the storm. He is your shelter, deliverer, and strong tower. He's your redeemer, savior, and friend. He's your prince of peace and sure defender. Find your footing again. Engage your faith. Embrace the right perspective. Trust Jesus with your whole heart and see what love will do. What you're about to discover today is life-changing. One minute you're struggling to pay bills, swamped with money worries, and the next minute, 
you're attracting money like steel to a magnet. What makes this life-changing difference in people's lives? It's called the genetic wealth code once you activate it. Your life will never be the same again. You can activate your genetic wealth code here today. It's best to activate this code now, while this page is still live. Tap the link in my comments to activate your genetic wealth code. I hate when people assume that I've had it easy because I'm not a bitter person. I've fought like hell to be a good person despite my struggles. I don't think people should be excused and not held accountable for the people they become just because they've had a hard life. And I don't think a person's difficult past should be minimized just because they chose to grow instead of wallowing it like some do. I don't want an award, just perhaps a few less people saying, you don't understand. Because I do all too well, but I survived it, so can you. Type. I embrace my power to affirm. When you come to the edges of yourself and you see the limits of your love, your generosity, and your willingness to give of a despair, just whisper a prayer to the God who loves you. He'll do for you in you and through you what you cannot do for yourself. He never rolls his eyes or breathes a heavy sigh when it he looks at you. He loves you. May you, right in the midst of your limits and your need, look to Jesus who intends to finish what he started in you. May you focus more on his goodness than on your badness because he's better than you know and loves you more than you can comprehend. Walk freely today, knowing you are a work in progress. And you get to be, without the condemnation. Blessings on your day this day. You have a soft heart and a pure soul. That's why you feel everything so deeply. Be clear on one thing, this is your superpower, not your weakness. The world needs more of you so don't suppress who you are. It is not your job to heal every person you meet, but it's your job to make sure your kind nature remains intact throughout your journey. Stay close to those who genuinely appreciate you and stay far away from those whose only goal is to take advantage of your energy. You are one of the rare gems the universe has blessed with heightened clairvoyance and divinity. Keep shining your light everywhere you go. Type. I am ready to shine. To affirm. We should never admit anything to be ascribed to us, which is proper to God. Why kayest thou me good? There is none good but one. That is God. If you do not acknowledge me God, ascribe not to me the title of good. It takes off all those titles which fawning flatterers give to men. Mighty invincible. To princes. Holiness. To the Pope. We call one another good without considering how evil and wise, without considering how foolish, mighty, without considering how weak and knowing, without considering how ignorant. No man, but hath more of wickedness than goodness, of ignorance than knowledge, of weakness than strength. God is a jealous God of his own honor, he will not have the creature share with him in his royal titles. It is a part of idolatry to give men the titles which are due to God, a kind of a worship of the creature together with the Creator. Worms will not stand out, but assault Herod in his purple, when he usurps the prerogative of God and proves stiff and invincible vindicators of their Creator's honor 
When summoned to arms by the Creator's word, Acts 12, 22, 23. God is saying to you today, I know you have been questioning yourself lately and wondering if you are really strong enough or good enough to do what I placed in your heart to do. This message is here to remind you that you can do all things through Christ. Don't you dare give up or let fear talk you out of your dream. Remember, I am with you and you will succeed. You can do this. Check bio link to secret of attract money. Link in comment section. Imagine God saying to you come. I've got all this prepared for you, for my expectation for your life. And you say, Well Lord I would, but I have to go do this. And you miss what God has prepared for you because you would not make a decision in line with his word for his will. To miss what God prepared for me because I would not align my mind, my mouth, and my methods with his word and miss what he had for me. No sir, I have decided to follow Jesus. Type. I'm optimistic. If you're ready, take care of yourself. Type yes if you're ready. And share this video with five people who trust God. Comment. Jesus is Lord. To support our channel please subscribe our channel and turn on bell notification.